Happy Pride, y'all. My name is Aubrey Thonvold. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I'm the executive director here at Reconciling Works. On behalf of Reconciling Works, our staff, our national board of directors, volunteers, and the almost 1,000 other Reconciling in Christ partners around the country, it is a joy and delight to be with you today, to have a conversation, to engage in some of the wonderings that exist about how we continue to deepen and expand our welcome, our justice work, our advocacy, our liberation, for those that oftentimes the church and society can say, no, not you. I think we all can collectively take a deep breath and know that 2022 has been big and full. Big and full in ways that bring joy, delight. Big and full in ways that can feel heavy. As a member of the LGBTQIA plus community, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer. Take a deep breath. I said queer. I know that that word means a lot of different things historically and generationally, but in this moment and in this time, I use the word queer as a form of affirmation and liberation. Intersex, asexual, and beautiful plus. LGBTQIA plus. As a member of the LGBTQIA plus community myself, I know that there has been a lot going on for us, for our siblings, for our community. And they're not small things. Did y'all know that across the US, within 2022, their states have tried to pass over 400 anti-trans bills alone. Bills targeting transgender people, trying to deny them access to public accommodations like restrooms denying trans students, young people, the ability to play sports, to find camaraderie on, in teamwork, and to be amongst their peers. We take a deep breath. 2022 has been big and full in many ways as we continue to live into a global pandemic that has required us all to continue and continuously be changing, adapting, reevaluating and assessing how we're in community, how we're in relationship, safely, and in ways that honor and respect those around us. As a Reconciling in Christ partner, I just want to say thank you for your commitment to this ministry, to this work. I am deeply grateful to be with you in this holy ministry. Advocacy and change and justice doesn't come alone. It requires each and every single one of us to show up, to do our part, and to be as bold and courageous as we all can be. At Reconciling Works, we root our work, our ministry, our advocacy, our outreach in three values. And they are that we believe that God has named and claimed all as beloved, that the Holy Spirit has given a diversity of gifts for the common good, and that Jesus Christ calls us to work for justice. <coughs> Y'all, would it be a sermon or something if we didn't have a dog barking in the background? <laughs> That's my mighty Mo, my little five pound dog. As we enter into conversation this morning, this afternoon, whenever y'all are watching this, I want to not only root ourselves in the values that we approach the conversation from at Reconciling Works, but I also want to remind us about how we engage with scripture, what that looks like, and how scripture and Christ and the Holy Spirit invite us into this ministry, this work, this call in endless ways. I'm going to read a little bit to you from a book called uh, Crazy Christians, A Call to Follow Jesus by Bishop Michael Curry. On Pentecost, people heard the gospel of Jesus, and, they heard the and when they heard the gospel, barriers came tumbling down, bridges arose, and new humanity in Christ began to emerge. In his sermon collections, Peter Story, who was a Methodist bishop in Johannesburg, quotes from a book called Manna and Mercy. 
a brief history of God's unfolding promise to mend the entire universe. The author, Daniel Erlander, spent time combing through the Gospels to make a list of the types of people that Jesus encountered. Here's the list. Lepers, prostitutes, tax collectors, sinners, poor people, discarded people, blind people, debtors, outcast, children, women, men, elderly people, sick people, Gentiles, Samaritans, Jews, the demon-possessed, outsiders, heretics, Pharisees, lawyers, rich people. Erlander then went on to make a list of the verbs <clears throat> that the gospel used to describe how Jesus related to these people. Invited, included, affirmed, liberated, loved, touched, held, embraced, healed, cleansed, given dignity, fed, forgiven, made whole, called, reborn, given hope, received, honored, and freed. Bishop Story concluded that this was the kind of life that Jesus offered in his encounters. Jesus excluded no one. He held nothing back. He built bridges among the people and they gained new life. That's what happened when Jesus was around, Story wrote. Not a single grace excluded, not a single grace held back. Paul Story wrote that if anyone is in Christ, in St. Paul, he wrote that if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All of this from a God who has given us the ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 through 18. Beloveds, in seasons of our life, in seasons of our church, when things feel full, Full from joy, full from sorrow, full from wondering. Sometimes it can feel easy and comforting to think that it's our job to decide who's in and who's out. To create some order in the midst of what might feel like chaos. And when we start to do that, sometimes we as church start to exclude those that God has named and claimed. That Jesus himself encountered in the Gospels. Sometimes, beloveds, when life feels big and full, we can forget to just simply breathe. We can forget that God has asked us to love all people, to love God and to love our neighbors. And sometimes we forget that that love comes in the form of invitation, of inclusion, of affirmation, of giving people dignity, of honoring people, of giving them hope. As we continue to look to Jesus as an example of how we get to be in the world, we're called to do this work to do this ministry of justice, of advocacy and love, not only for LGBTQIA plus people, but we are called to do liberating work for our black, brown, indigenous siblings of color. We are called to do this work for women. We're called to do this work for aging, for those who are aging, for those who are differently abled. As we think about the fullness of God's creation, there is a job for each of us to do in the work of justice. So this Pride season, as we celebrate the diversity of God's creation in one another, let us be mindful about just how big and full that diversity really is. And let us think about who and how we are called to be in relationship to all of God's expansive creation of how we are called and asked to arrive, to invite, to include, to affirm, 
to liberate, to free, to heal, to cleanse, to give dignity. Now is the time to think about how we use Pride Month as an opportunity to reflect, to celebrate, to recharge around all the ways that we, beloveds, are called to justice, are called to activism, are called to be bold and prophetic in the ways that we love as Christ has shown us how to. Together, side by side, we can make a transformational change, not only in how we are church, but in how we are society together. It is a joy and delight to be in this ministry with you, to be rooted in our faith together, to be sent out side by side in calls of love, justice, liberation. Beloved's Reconciling Works is deeply grateful for who you are as a Reconciling in Christ partner. We'll continue to ask you to think about, to review, to deepen and expand your commitments, just as we as an organization continue to deepen and expand our awareness and our capacities. Together, we will help create safe space, brave space, liberation, for those that sometimes church and society can say, no, not you. May this day be a day of celebration. May this day be a reminder of the holy ministry you and I are called to. And may we be reminded that with the support and the care and the guidance and the love of the Trinity, that we have everything we need when we arrive together. Blessings to you, to what God is calling you to do. And may you always have the courage and the bravery to love boldly. Happy Pride.